Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos doing a quick video showing you how to do split screen on the new iPad Pro. Now to do this, the first thing we need to do is open up an app that is compatible with split screen. So I'm going to start with Safari. Um, just about most of the uh, Apple apps are compatible with split screen, so that's a good rule of thumb to get started. So I'm in Safari, let's say I'm browsing, doing my Black Friday shopping, and you know what? I want to watch a video. I can actually swipe over. Now what you want to do is, you always start on the right side, and the home button is a good rule of thumb. And I'm just going to swipe to the left, and it'll bring up the list of all the different apps that are compatible with split screen. So calendar, Chrome, which I downloaded, um, the clock app, Excel, which is again, great for productivity. Um, and I'm gonna come down here, God, you guys see the full list there. I'm gonna go to uh, Hulu, which is one of the few uh, video streaming apps that are compatible with split screen. And I'm gonna open up a video here. Let's say I wanna watch Chicago PD, right? So I can hit play and I can even, let's pause it real fast so it doesn't make too much noise. Um, I can um, split the screen even more so that it's balanced left and right just by finding this little dash right here, put your finger on it, just drag it to the center. And now I have an equally balanced screen so I can have this video playing and I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. There we go. But I can continue to have this video playing and I can continue to browse the web right over here and it's between my tabs and so really cool, you know, being able to watch a video while you're continuing to do the normal things you would do anyway. Um, you can drag this to the right and kind of have Hulu smaller, but you can't drag it all the way to the left like this. Um, you can really only have the small window to the right. So if you did want to switch and you wanted Hulu to be bigger, and I don't know why you'd want to search on a smaller screen, but you'd have to close it and basically open Hulu first and then pick Safari second. So really cool. One of the things I don't really like about it that much is that if I try to turn it uh, in the portrait mode, it doesn't put Hulu at the top. It still goes left and right. So this is kind of a, a flaw, I think, in the system, and hopefully they change it. But it'd be nice to have a full video screen up here and then have the, the uh, you know, web page or whatever at the bottom. Um, now what you can also do, so obviously we have these two apps, but maybe I want to pick a different app. So to do that, we need to swipe down from the top right here and I can uh, jump to a different app. So let's say I want to do Chrome. And again, Chrome doesn't come stock or doesn't come um, downloaded on the iPad. So you do have to download it separately. Just go to um, go to the App Store, type in Chrome. And it, it's a really great idea to have this downloaded because now I can have two web browsers open at the same time. So maybe you're doing research on one side and you want to do separate research on the other side. I can have two equal web browsers open just like that. Um, and let's see, I'm going to tap on this video. Now this is another way you kind of work the system. So if you notice, YouTube was not in that list of, of apps that are supported. However, you can just go, if you download Chrome, you can actually open YouTube and then you can watch YouTube in split screen. So this is kind of a little trick on how to manipulate the system so you can watch a YouTube video here and again, continue to do your other stuff right here. Now I can, Here's the part, again, that's a little tricky, is that you can only switch the right screen. So if you notice, I'm trying to swipe down here and it won't let me. So I, you have to swipe from this right screen and you have to basically switch from here. So again, if you wanted to do the opposite and you wanted to have YouTube open, here's how I'd recommend you do it. Let's close both. And I'm gonna open up Chrome first. Let's pause the video. And then now I'm gonna swipe over and now I'm gonna pick something different. So let's say I wanna look at an Excel file. I can go to Excel and then I can drag this center right here and have it balanced. Continue to watch my YouTube video and now I can play around with Excel or I can swipe down and say, hey, you know what, now I wanna look at my mail. So we're gonna go down to the mail app. And you can go through and actually be answering your emails while you're watching a YouTube video. 
So this is really cool. Um, again, split screen is great. It is new to the iPad, so there's still a lot more that they need to do to really make it seamless. But uh, this is really how you work the system and how you get the best out of it. Now, um, not that we want to do it, but I'm going to do a quick check while we're on here. And this is actually how you can watch two videos at once. Notice. Oh, so, yeah, so they got that block. So you can't watch Hulu and YouTube at the same time. That would have been really cool if you could. Not sure why you want to watch two videos at the same time. But anyway, this is your list here of all compatible apps. As you notice, Netflix is not available yet. So hopefully soon they will add that to the list. But I think the, the best part about it is that we've got uh, Microsoft Word that is compatible, which is, again, an app a lot of people use, PowerPoint and Excel. We have the Notes app. And we also have Messenger, so if you want to message back and forth while you're doing other stuff, now you don't have to continue to switch back and forth per screen. We could even be reading, for example. Um, and obviously calendar, and again, the ultimate scenario, I think, is if you're working and you want to have maybe mail open on one side, and then on this side, you could have your calendar open. And this is a really just productive system of you know being able to work and I got my emails here and I'll let me check my calendar and see when I'm free so anyway guys this has been how to do split screen on the iPad Pro I hope you guys did find this helpful make sure you like favorite and share the video if it was helpful make sure you also subscribe and watch um, keep an eye out for more videos from HD Tech videos have a good one